G'day! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play Dave the Diver remotely on your phone using a Bluetooth keyboard and your gaming laptop or desktop that can already run the game. To begin with, there will be a few requirements. One, a machine capable of running the game and a little bit of extra power to it. So being Dave the Diver shouldn't require too much in the way of a, a high-end gaming computer. You should be able to do it on most devices. Step two, you're going to want a relatively mid-range to high-range phone that supports Steam Link. And three, well, this is a bit of an optional. You could potentially play via touchscreen. Probably wouldn't recommend it. I'm using a GameSir X2 Bluetooth controller, and that is a dock for a phone as well. You'd be able to use something like an Xbox controller or any other kind of clamp-based controller that you want to use. Also, you'd want to have a decent Wi-Fi connection at home for it to run smoothly, and you could potentially play it while you're out and about. I'm not going to cover that, but I'm just going to cover playing at the home. So first of all, we want to download Steam Link. We're wanting to download Steam Link. I'm going to the Play Store to do that, which I've already done. Once I've downloaded and installed it, I go to Open. And if you have your phone on the same Wi-Fi network as your laptop or gaming computer, it should actually detect it, and you should be able to just tell it to join. It will potentially ask you to sign into your Steam account before or after. But once you've done that, you should have a tether, a link to your gaming computer or laptop. And from there, the next step is relatively straightforward. Was I had to go into Bluetooth and make sure that my controller was paired. So I've now got this paired on here. And with my controller paired, my inputs are working. If I press down on the controller, we get down on here. So I know that my controller is now paired. With it now paired, I can go back to Steam Mobile Link. I go to Steam Link. It actually acknowledges that I've played Dave the Diver down here before. I can go start playing. And as you can see in the background, my laptop's now loading up. And with it loading up, I should be getting the game over here. This is also applicable for most other games. Dave the Diver is the current one that I'm playing. So I can go to Dave the Diver. I can either use the controls or I can just touch the screen because it's a touch screen device. This one is talking about remote session, which I'm not fussed about. I want to go play. It will let me go play now. And as you can see in the background there, game's loading up. You will require, the game will be actually running on there. You'll be remoting in from your phone with using your controller to your laptop or your computer. So what you could potentially do is with a laptop, I can go put this in the furthest bedroom where it's, the noise is not going to annoy anybody. And I can sit here and play Dave the Diver with no issues at all. As I said, that is also applicable for other games as well. So if I go exit and go back to the main menu, I'd potentially be able to select other games from my Steam list to play remotely. So if I go back, back, back. I could go through. I could potentially play Battlebit, which is one of my favorite games at the moment. Probably not Age of Empires, Svelte, whatever game I pretty much want to pick, I should be able to play. As long as that game has decent controller support, most new games will support controllers, so you shouldn't have too much drama there. Anyway, hope this helps. Good luck with Dave the Diver. Good luck connecting it up. Hopefully it's as smooth as I've explained it to be. And enjoy your game. See you later.